Hey everyone, uh, this is Suresh. Uh, in this video tutorial, we are going to uh, learn more about uh, server sent events or event source. Uh, this is going to be a continuation of my previous video. Uh, so, if you haven't watched my previous video, please uh, go there and uh, watch it once. Um, okay, let's get started. Uh, it's the uh, same server which I'm running. So you can see it over here what happens let me refresh yeah uh, initially the connection is open then uh, uh, we are sending uh, this is uh, this message is coming from the custom event and uh, the this message is from the default event that we have seen in our last tutorial uh, now I have uh, stopped the service uh, that means that the server is down um, but still the browser is trying to uh, connect to the stream you can see it over here so it says clearly it says uh, address unreachable uh, so the and uh, we are logging the message also uh, when so this kind of this this message is coming from uh, the error uh, event handler uh, let me show you where it is you can see it over here so whenever the source you know has uh, some error this event handler is going to be driven uh, or going to be called mm, that's what we are printing it over, over there so every uh, three seconds approximately it's going to make a call uh, this is going to be a network call okay so you can see it over here see the stream.js is uh, uh, requested in every three seconds now you can control this one okay uh, from the server side uh, so there is a um, way to control this one so go to your stream dot uh, or, or the uh, data file okay and uh, you can add uh, the retry milliseconds okay so if i add uh, 5000 the browser will start retry uh, in every five seconds okay so let me add a 10 so that you know we can see the difference I started see now everything is fine you get the data let me stop see it takes time it would uh, retry after 10 seconds see that's what happening you can control the retry time from the server by changing by adding this retry uh, key value pair uh, in your data stream now uh, when I st when it starts okay see now the server is started right when it starts um, data comes and uh, there will be one request stream.js okay if it finds the data then uh, that's it it's it stops then uh, the connection is open and the data transfer happens okay now if you look at it uh, you may not know you know but or what was the data the browser uh, received uh, before the connection was lost to solve that uh, we have something called id so what you can do here so you can uh, stitch an id to your data stream um, all the time for example maybe I'll put it as 14 okay so what happens this this data stream would have ID 14 this is the 14th message okay for example and uh, uh, you can so now I have just uh, started the server and uh, you can uh, go here everything is fine data is being streamed uh, network request yeah there was only one request uh, one uh, stream.js request mm, everything seems to be fine Now what I'm going to do here data is still flowing right mm, uh, mm, the server is going is down okay the server is down so now you can assume that the server is down after sending the 14th message okay and uh, you go to your browser uh, it uh, keeps on polling um, uh, to get the response for the stream.js you can see that there will be a uh, network request uh, uh, 
happens in every 10 seconds so that's what we have added uh, if you click on this one you can see one more thing here there's an extra field which comes um, if you have ID in your data stream mm, this says that hey the last message I have received uh, had the ID 14 and uh, mm, I'm trying to connect okay so this is what it is trying to do so what you can do uh, whenever uh, your uh, you know, server comes up then you can check you know which message was sent last um, before the connection was you know lost uh, then based on that you can do whatever you want let me start this one this server now it will pull after 10 seconds see now it has got the data you can see it over here and because the server is up and running and there is the network request stopped um, because it got data for a stream.js it's and you can see the 14 the last event id um, is 14. so this is useful um, uh, in many scenarios uh, one more thing i would like to show is that um, let me bring down the server now the server is down but the browser is making a call uh, in every 10 seconds right and you might wonder that uh, hey so the browser is uh, going to make call all the time um, in every 10 seconds uh, yes but you can control this one okay uh, from your server uh, if you send 204 for your stream.js uh, that means uh, the connection is going to be closed after that it's not the browser is not going to make any connection or it will not try to uh, poll uh, let's see how the so what I'm doing here I have uh, uh, just to for the demo purpose uh, I'm just uh, setting it as let me set, set it as 10 so after 10 request I'm just setting here after 10 request you know send uh, 204 uh, that's what it means so let me start the server clear this one okay data has come see after 10 request it will stop irrespective of whether the server is down or up see it stopped and you can see that after 10 it got the data and you can see it's 204 that's it there won't be any more uh, request uh, going from your uh, browser that's it this is the last one okay so you can you can stop the browser uh, polling um, by sending 204 uh, with a stream file please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, leave your comments um, if you have any um, see you again